Hello students, welcome to video lecture 11 in which we're going to talk about differentials. Uh, this little bit of mistake, we need to fix it. So uh, differentials, uh, what do I mean by this? We used, we have uh, used dy dx notation before but but dy and dx that are called differentials have no meaning so far So our goal, our goal is to define dy and dx properly. All right, so, so the definition, the definition and um, <clears throat> Assume, assume that F is differentiable at a point X. So we're going to define DX to be an independent independent uh, variable again we have two variables independent and dependent so independent is uh, dx And if it's independent, independent, then uh, it can have have any real values. Any real value. All right. And define define dy by the formula. And formula would be dy equals f prime of x dx. And let's call it formula star because we want to use it later. And if dx is not equal to zero, then we can divide both sides of star by dx to get dy dx equal f prime of x. And let's call it formula two stars. So so we achieved our goal. Goal we defined dy and dx so the ratio is f prime of x and uh, last thing for the definition 
uh, formula star is said to express double star in differential form. All right. So what would be the geometric mean of dy and dx? So if we create a picture like this one, we can see that uh, if we move along the, the tangent line, if we move along the tangent line, then uh, the rise on the tangent line is a dy. And uh, the run along the tangent line is dx. So basically, dy and dx, they go along the tangent line. And the slope of the tangent line is S prime of X. And the slope of the tangent line is also rise over run, which is dy dx. So everything comes together if you look at it from the geometric point of view. So let's do an exercise for this idea. So the assignment says express the derivative with respect to x of y equals to x squared in differential form and discuss the relation between dy and dx at x equal to 1. All right. So let's solve this problem. So the derivative of y with respect to x is dy dx equal to f prime of x. So in our case, it's 2x if we calculate derivative. So when x is equal to 1, we have, well, before we do that, if we take this expression and move to the differential form, which is given by the equation star, we will have dy equals 2x dx. Now, second part of the exercise, when x is equal to 1, we have dy equals 2 times 1 dx, which implies that dy is equal to 2 dx. 
So let's look at it geometrically first, and then we'll discuss it. So when we have a, a quadratic function and at x equal 1, we have the slope. All right, so basically if we if we travel if we travel to the right, then what happens if we move one unit to the right? One unit to the right. If we move one unit to the right, right? So this would be our dx, and this will be our dy. Right, so this rule tells us that if we uh, if we move along the tangent line tangent line then the dy what is dy? dy is the change, right? So it's a rise, right? So then uh, rise or, or change dy is proportional proportional to to dx and dx is our run. Right, so right, so basically, if we move one unit to the right, then d y will be two times one will be two, so if this is one unit of change, then this will be two units of change. All right, so another topic we will discuss in this lecture is what is the difference between delta y and dx, right, where delta y is a increment of f of x, uh, so dx should be dy, and dy is the uh, increment of the tangent line. In order to understand this, uh, we have to look at the picture, so uh, let's uh, let's look at the picture. One second. This one is the correct picture. All right, so on the picture, what's going on? Uh, sorry. On the picture, we have the following. This is our dy, and this is our dx. Then if we continue this line up, maybe in red. So if we continue this line up and have this point over here, then this distance, this distance is 
is uh, delta y. So it's how much the function has changed. And dx, as you can see, will coincide with uh, delta x. dx is the same as delta x because we move the same distance whether we're discussing delta x and uh, discussing delta y. All right. And the last example for today is the following, not for today, but for this lecture would be the following. All right, so this example says that let y be equal to square root of x, find dy and delta y at x equal 4 with dx equal to delta x equal to 3. Then make a sketch, make a sketch of y equals the square root of x, showing dy and delta y in the picture. All right, so let's do solution by hands first and then the picture. So, solution. So, f of x is equal to square root of x. And if we want to find delta y, we have to take f of x plus delta x, subtract f of x. So, in our case, is going to be square root of x plus delta x minus the square root of x. And our delta x is equal to 3. So we're going to plug it in over here. And also we know that x is equal to 4. So x equals 4. We're going to plug in over here and over here. So we're going to get square root of 3 plus 4 minus the square root of 4. So we have square root of 7 minus the square root of 4, which is 2. So we can write 2 over here. So the only thing we need is to calculate square root of 7. So it's going to be this number minus 2. So we're going to get 0.6. Uh, 0.645, so I'll round it off to 0 0.65, 0 0.65. So we calculated this quantity, and this way we found delta y. To find dy, we have to write f prime of x times dx. So what is our f prime? So... It's 1 over 2 square root of x times dx. So we take x equals 4. We're going to plug it in over here. And we're going to take dx, which is equal to 3. And because it's the same as delta x, and we're going to plug it in over here. So we're going to get 1 over 2 square root of 4 times 3. So it's 3 over 4 if I take a square root and multiply it by 2. So it's 0.75, 3 quarters. So the last thing left is to create a picture and show it on the picture. So let's try to do that. So we have, we have uh, the graph and we want to have a square root function, right? So we go to point 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 0.4, 
and uh, we move up and then we move to point seven and this is our delta x which is the same as dx so we move up along this curve then we create a triangle over here and we create a tangent line so we need to draw a line something like this maybe not a really good one but uh, something like that and so this is a tangent line at this point over here so what is what in this picture if we move along um, over here this distance over here is our change in the function so this would be delta y but if we take this point over here then uh, then I'll erase a little bit over here because it abstracts our view. So this distance between this line and this line is our dy, change on the straight line. And that concludes our discussion about differentials. Uh, we're going to use them later in the semester, but I think this is a good place to discuss them. So I'll see you in the next lecture.